All right. Hey, welcome to Forex Dot. Today, we're going to trade gold, oil, Bitcoin, and really anything else that you want. Just let me know in the chat. Let me remind you that trading is risky, not appropriate for everyone. Your past performance, good or bad, is not necessarily indicative of future results. Please stay small, stay humble, focus on the long term, never risk money you cannot afford to lose. All right, so I popped a, a poll here. Uh, please let me know what you want to cover. I put in gold. I put in yen, I put in Swiss franc, and I put in WTI. Of course, I'm avoiding the dollar. I'm assuming you're already doing that. So let me know what you want to cover today, and I will do my best to serve. Right now, I have Euro Kiwi. Oop, makes sense. Um, yeah, makes total sense. Uh, Kiwi's weak, very weak. So is Aussie. So what are you trading? Are you are you trading with uh, trading those things with yens and dollars or whatever? Let me know. Let me know. We can do metals. We can do uh, different energies, right? We can do Brent. We can do WTI. We could do Nat Gas. Um, if you want to do crypto, we can do crypto, Bitcoin. Yeah, down at support again. But we could do some other other things. Ethereum, for example. So you let Uncle Wayne know. Alejandro says uh, Aussie dollar. Yeah, we can do that. I'm happy to do that. Anything else? Okay. Alejandro did uh, the trial. Cool. Yeah, no, it's epic. It's <laughs> it's epic. All right, so I'll let uh, I'll let you guys answer that as people uh, roll in. So I'll just kind of go through. Uh, I'll just go around the world and uh, let you figure things out. Let um um, hang on, hang on, hang on. I got to move things out of the way. I'm trying to get to trade ours. Uh, what I want to do is check uh, the calendar. Actually, the sonar. Is it? Uh, do we have the? I think we have Canadian jobs, right? So. Uh, I want to make sure and double check to see if that's got the uh, reliable volatility. Oh, it's slow again today. Interesting. Interesting. I guess I probably have to update my browser, but I'm afraid of all these things. Every time I update my browser, the uh, things stop working. Anywho, let's just check the calendar while that's thinking about it. I think it's my, it's me. I think I have to log out and log in, I think is what's really, truly happening. Because this happened to me yesterday and then let's go back to Sonars. Oh, interesting. You know what? No, it is my browser. All right, it is my browser. Hang on, I'll just start a new session. Uh, ba, 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 ba. See what I what I'm double checking is uh, I believe we have CAD news, and on top of that, that's funny. This is just an old browser session, uh, but it gives me what I need. Yeah, we do have um, the Canadian news. Okay. The Canadian news does impact things. All right. So yesterday we did a 2020 OCO. What'd you guys think of that? It worked out nice. In fact, uh, Tradar said, uh, um, if it, I, what was it? If it was greater, buy a dip. So it dropped like 30 pips. We bought a dip and then it rallied up. And uh, we got our, I think we, we ended up getting closer to 40 pips on that. Um so anyway, so let's just uh, let's just pick one. Kitty cat makes sense, right? If we're going if we're going to trade um, the kitty cat news, we might as well trade the kitty cat um, pair. So if it's less than two point seven, down, 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 eighty percent chance of down. If it's greater than. Um, Two hours down, but then four hours up, up 75%. And then actual, oh my goodness, 
up, 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 up. 100% of that. All right. So uh, I guess we're going to look at it from this point of view. Uh, oh, well, you should look at it. Uh, we can draw the following conclusions about the expected movement of USD CAD based on the last 12 inflation rate uh, um, year over year events in Canada. If actual, if actual, if actual. See if I can cheat the system a little bit. All right, so let's go to USD Kitty Cat and get that set up. Uh, please fill out the form so I know what you guys want to cover after the news comes out. Okay, there's my USD Kitty Cat. Okay, there's the target we set way back in February, uh, early March. So now it's middle of April. So five weeks ago, we set a target. And uh, I believe we just hit it last night. Oh, no, we're very, oh, yep, yeah, hang on. So it took five weeks to let this winter run, and that's where we are now. So anyways, let's see if I can do this. I don't know if I can. <laughs> we'll see how much it'll accept. All right. Well, it's somewhat helpful. Let's let let's see. Let's get this to a one hour chart. And then let's bring this back. I want to see if I can do this better. So if actual uh, chance, um, so we'll just say up 75 chance. See if I can get better at this. I'll get better at this. I'll get faster. 75% up. Okay, if actual, okay, let's do it again, in, uh, uh, uh. chance up, okay, all I'm doing is copy and paste it. If actual ch chance, and that's a down. Okay, let's do it again. You guys okay with me doing this? Okay, and of course, this is how it does it. So if actual is greater than 2.7, okay, uh, it, right? If actual is greater than, right, 75% chance of up, but okay, here we go. So it dropped and then went up. It dropped and then went up. It dropped and then went up. So it looks like you could set yourself up for a buy the dip if it's greater, right? Okay. So if it's greater, let's add to this if it will. It keeps moving and it's funny. It's I'm not even moving the text. Um, okay. Buy dip by dip. Okay, so we checked that we actually looked at the charts. Okay, now, if the actual, okay, is equal to 2.7, what did it do in the past? It went straight up, went straight up, straight up. Okay, so we'll leave it that probably not a buy the dip. And now if the if it comes out less than expected, let's go back in history. That's why it's called sonar. We're looking down back in history. 80% chance of down. See how it draws it for you? So you sell the rip. So it popped and dropped. Dropped, popped, dropped. 
Wow, pop and drop. Ooh. 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 That's interesting. Good thing we can go back in time, huh? What do you think? Isn't that, isn't that amazing to be able to go back in time? Pop. Pop and drop. Cool. It's nice to be able to just very easily and quickly go back into the charts and find out how it actually behaved. Ho, 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 ho. Wee, wee, wee. Huh? That is neat. Oh, neato. And notice it was drawing on the 15-minute chart these candles in real time. Do you notice it showed down, 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 and then a green candle? while we were doing our research. So it's live. Uh, so anyways, very cool. Uh, here we are killing it. Okay, killing it here on um, the yens. Now we did talk about it, right? We did talk about it for sure, in, in especially in the day trading group. Um, Denise was calling, uh, I think it was 154 to 155, and we're right in the middle of that. Yeah, boy, we waited weeks for that move. Okay, so we'll wait. We got we got about uh, 10 more minutes before the kitty cat news, so we'll come back to that. Okay, so a reminder to myself, it's on the, uh, oops. It's on the standard pivots. Uh, quickly take a look at things like uh, metals. You buy metals in a time of uh, lots of inflation. Oh, looks like I'm break even on this one. Oh, no. Looks like I had I caught it and then lost it, huh? Uh, well, I guess I want to get out for a small loss if it's going to bail. So I'm going to do that. This one's still quite profitable. This one I've been in since the beginning of April, so a couple of weeks. Massive drop. And then uh, if you want to see if bears are really there, you know, I guess if you do real body, what is it? Yeah, 50%. Uh, yeah, there could be bears there for sure. But it's it makes sense to... Oh, good, I'm out. Um, it makes sense to want to own metals at a time of high inflation. So there's your silver play. Uh, I don't like it, of course. Uh, I could jam my stop uh, closer, but we'll see. What else is going on? Lots of demand for uh, palladium and platinum. Okay, we were looking at the commitment of traders report for platinum uh, earlier today in the quant box video. And that will be released today at 1030 to the gen, gen pop. If you're interested in that. It's uh, http colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash at quant box. Okay, so anywho, anywho, let's drag this across. And then a zoomy zoom zoom. I guess I can kill this. There's no point in that anymore. And drop into a smaller time frame, maybe. And uh, we are now in the buy zone. Okay. Maybe it's not a great time, but we're in uh, the price is reasonable. So we'll see. If this will turn back up, there's a lot of bid right now for um, metals. 
uh, in particular precious metals, so like platinum and gold and silver. And then uh, copper is sort of, if I remember correctly, 50-50 right now. But that's an industrial. Taking a look at other commodities. Okay, and it looks like most of you are interested in gold, so we can come back and do something more specific on gold, okay? Um, did not get the little pullback that we set up yesterday, but it, it hasn't not not happened. Okay, so you can see we have a little 3A2. We're only at a 50%, and you want to kind of, there, there's, two, there's two things to look at. Um, there's, oops. Well, that's not, that's way too thick. Okay, there's this level of potential support where we're at now, and then there's this one. So the 382, sorry, the 50% and the 618 can still produce the up. Okay. Let me maybe adjust this a little bit. So if you get a 618, you get a 1382. If you get a 382, you get a 1618. So we'll put it like this. That's still reasonable. That's still a reasonable technical plan. Okay. Very few of you are trading Swiss franc. That really surprises me. Huh. That's interesting. All right. All right. Uh, so, so you guys want some gold? Okay, we can do that. And we got to drag this across now. And it comes down to your belief of, is this a higher, high, higher, high, low? Okay, on this smaller time frame. So let's do it this way. Okay. Down. Okay. That. But someone else might be thinking more like this, huh? So maybe more into an apex. Okay. still have a few more minutes one thing that you can do like well let, let me ask you um let, let's do it this way let, let me ask you a question on gold now let's do it this way uh, x uh, i'll just put in gold r U A I think I misspelled that, but it's okay. Okay, let me know. Are you a buyer or seller of gold? Answer it quickly, please. Let's go. No, just answer the poll.
All right, we have a st statistically relevant data set. Thank you for answering the poll. Most are buyers. So you could go to uh, trade R. So we'll, this is, right, we have two minutes and 23 seconds left. So you could go to like radars, for example, and say, okay, you're a bull on gold. And so you're interested in that. So you go to commodities and you look for bullish trade plans on gold. And uh, it's all oil, 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 silver. And it says gold down to the upward channel. So you have to read through it. It says down, but then up. That came out yesterday. Okay. So where are we in that? I think this is the thing. So that's a uh, yeah, bigger chart too, isn't it? Yeah, that's the one we're on. So it has it kind of like this. Okay, so what that what it said yesterday with gold is get ready for it to do one of these, and then you would assume up if you're a bull. If you don't assume that, then you're not a bull. Okay, that's one way to use trade ours. So it's down, but only down to support, and then a bull would buy it up. And the top of this would continue to 2,650, basically, right? So you could even take it as far as doing this. Okay, we got to go from the news, right? We got to go. Cool, right? Isn't that nice? All right, let's get back to our sonars. Okay. Oh, all right. What's our number? What's the number? Who's got the number? It's year over year, year over year. Come on, year over year. Two point nine greater than expect, right? Expected up, up. Okay, oops, come on, I'm trying to fit this in. Okay, 75% chance of up. Can't fit the stupid text in. Okay, what do you think? Is that helpful? Thank you, by the way, for posting that. Okay, so this is probably going to be a profit taking zone.
And then you could consider little opportunities. I'd go into a smaller time frame. Okay. And maybe be able to catch little dips, right? What do you think? It's a cool tool, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely not. A, it says buy a dip, right? It doesn't say buy at resistance. <laughs> Lucas makes a very good point. Yeah. Okay, so there's, right, 2.7 consensus, 2.9 actual, delta, okay, 0.2, 4-hour trend, 75% chance that the 4-hour trend, okay, is up. And they're like, show me the past. Let's try to figure out how long it'll be up. Oh, it's not opening brain fart. Oh, there we go. All right. Uh, on a 15 minute candle, candle. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So how many hours is that? Okay. <laughs> okay. One hour, two hours, three hours, four hours. Okay. So a four hour trend on a 15 minute candle. I get, I see. So we could leave it here and say it could come back around or if it comes back around, we could buy with the understanding 75% of the time it, it will close higher. Now, close higher from the candle it occurred on, but if you're able to buy a dip, you could improve. Okay. So four hours, right? And so what do you think? How much do you think we could do, right? On four, a four hour move. Um, is 50 50 too much? 50 pips? OK, 
Okay, so there's two prices if it does pull back as support. Okay, these kind of things. Um, the high volatility event driven strategy that I use for things like non farm payrolls is you fib, okay, the candle, the news candle. So let's say it comes down, 3A2 is pretty compelling. Oops, now we got to take that ray off. The 3A2 is pretty compelling, but let's just do something like this in our analysis. Um, that it comes down 50% and it goes up to 13A2. So how many pips is that? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Where's my little, there? Um, 40? 138 to 140. So I think we could do a 25-25 OCO. What do you think? So you go here. Let's do a new scalp. Uh, yes, I want to kill it. Um, well, we can do 33-33. How about that? we got a happy face going. And we could try it like this. <laughs> All right. Boom 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 I can remember everything, but I can't tell what's true or dreams. Boy, I kicked off my 33.3333, Wayne Nanachi. All right, cool. Uh, let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, I talked about this yesterday, and I said it's not interesting to me. Unless it does something like this. I don't buy one touches is what I said. Well, you could buy a double bottom because a double bottom is a reversal pattern. Okay. A one, two, three is a double bottom followed by a higher high, which it has not done yet. So if it made a higher high here, and then followed by a higher low, that would be your entry. And usually it's a roll reversal. Okay. So maybe that's happening. Okay, maybe, baby. Cool. So anyways, if you're going to use tradars, in particular sonars, okay, the sonar stuff has essentially been banned by brokers um, that be book you because all of a sudden it's a game changer for you. Um, so if you're going to use tradars, I recommend, okay, I'll go here and go to the home page. Okay, if you're going to use tradars, I suggest you use an ECN. And I recommend Trader's Way. Okay, if you increase your success rate at Trader's Way, they're happy for you. They have a symbiotic relationship because they're an ECN. They use straight through processing. They pop all your trades directly into a pool of liquidity partners. And then you might say, hey, uh, isn't that what all brokers do? No, in fact, most brokers 
are more like an exchange. They match you against other traders with the hope that today you lose money, but tomorrow someone else loses money, and they, they hope all their traders eventually lose money. So they just match what they believe is loser to loser. Therefore, you blow up your trading account, and they keep all your money. So they never execute your trades in the interbanking system. It's more like an exchange, client versus client. And then if that doesn't work, they trade against you either way. They, they, it's, like, it's like a casino. They look at you like a casino, like uh, everyone that walks through the front door. The more they, the more they gamble, the more they're going to lose. So trader's way is different is what I'm saying. They don't have that model. They, they're an ECN. So uh, you, there are other easy ends, of course, but that's the one I recommend. So Yen, Oscar, Mike, yep, the, yeah. What else going on? Let's let's zip around. And uh, you're not trading Swiss franc. It's really strange. Okay, well, that one I set up for you. Really, you just, I, I scratch my head. I'm like, why are you not trading Swiss franc in a risk off scenario? Um, pound Swissy. Look, the next one is a break, rally, drop. Kiwi. Okay, let me back out here. Okay. I, again, I scratched my head. I don't know why you would not be trading uh, Swiss franc in a risk off scenario. Here's Euro Swissy. Uh, obviously, I have it set up for you. It seems like statistically very few people here want to trade it. Strange to me. Cool. All right. Um, what about Euro? So here's one, and it's slowly eking up to the next level. Okay. What do you think of this type of price action? It's, it's doing its thing, isn't it? Up, 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 up. I guess I should draw it to delete. Up, 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 down, down to the moving averages. Buy. Up, 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 down, down to the moving averages. Buy. Up, 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 down to the moving averages. Buy. Up, 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 down to the future moving averages and buy. What do you think? Is that your trade for the day? Have you decided? Okay, did you see the Chinese industrial production GDP and inflation numbers yesterday? Remember yesterday, and I said it in Quantbox, then I said it at Forex.today, and then I said it in the day trading group. Um, be ready for uh, uh, Kiwi and Aussie based on the, Chinese, uh, the news out of China. Okay, we can look at... Uh, Here's a, here's the same thing, but only different. Um, let me zoom in. That's a 15 minute chart. That's good. So my entry is, uh, I caught it sort of in here and then it was up and then it was down and then right. And then it climbed again, sort of pre London, London, Okay, it just keeps right like that. Cool. So I have a small profit locked in there. Uh, where am I on this? 350 pips. Uh, well, total. Um, so this is about 100 of them. All right. <laughs> Mm 
Okay. And Euro now giving back, which points to probably dollar strength. Whoop. So we go back to the dollar pairs. And dollar likely to continue. How's our scalp doing? Oh, well, we're profitable. Okay. Okay, remove my risk. Great, off we go. Uh, what else going on? Um, pounds stronger than dollar, that's interesting. So we'll take a look and see, like, will this weaken again? Um, well, the problem with this trade for another short is that we've already hit the monthly target. So if you recall, in the uh, training courses at InvestorBootCamp.com, it says, if that's your high, this is your low. So it sets us up for vulnerability for an inverse head and shoulders. Okay, which would probably just get us to about here. And then we try again later. Let's take a look at the stock markets. It's been brutal, huh? Yeah. Well, a little reprieve, maybe. So uh, I'm short at uh, 52. And it dropped to 5,000, almost 5,000. So 200 points on the Dow. Okay, and or not Dow, sorry, S and P. Um, let me ask you: Do institutional investors use monthly and or weekly pivot points? Cruel beans. Yeah, well, I'm assuming this analysis I've been doing with you guys is leading you to protect your assets. So then it's cool. Yeah. Okay, but look at that, huh? So... The next kind of set is like this. I'm going now, these are not set in stone. We still have two weeks before they lock, but I'd like to mark that as the potential future central point. And then I got this there. So what I could do here is if or when price returns to that level, I could pop another short and or hedge. Okay. Another way of doing this is if you're a bear, okay, you mark these as two prices in which you will consider selling. Okay. So it's a way for you to do your plan A and plan B. Was that helpful? 
Just that little tidbit right there. Would you be willing to click the like button? Only one third of you have clicked like. Would you click like if that was at least not stupid? <laughs> Reasonably not stupid, only a little bit stupid. So thank you. Now half of you have clicked like and the other half have not. All right. So we did uh, we did commodities. We did some metals. We didn't do crypto. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so Bitcoin, as you know, is on our on our line. We're, we've had this mark for a while. So I see it really as moving sideways in the moment. On the daily. On smaller time frames, it'll look much more uh, wicked. But on this higher time frame zoomed out when you're looking at the forest and not the trees. We're basically at, at a support level, right? So if it's going to turn, this is a reasonable spot for it to turn back up. Okay, but it definitely it 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 diminishes the uptrend. And it really sets us in a sideways trend. Okay, now. Are you a bull? Bulls by support. Are we at support? Yes. So you could be here on a fiver getting ready to long bomb this sucker. And the classic standard operating procedure, the classic move, if you're a bull waiting to long bomb it, okay, is that you're going to look for a range in here. Okay, so we got a range in here and eventually it breaks out and you long bomb it right there. I'll do it this way. Okay. On a Cinco. Oh, woo. Yeah, baby. Yeah. All right, I guess I'm done. I salute you. Peace on earth. May the pips be with you. May your profits be above average. <laughs>